Woo. Prince, acoustic guitar, Cream, Webster Hall. Type those things into YouTube and you will be amazed. You're probably here because you've seen that already. I was just in bed the other night, scrolling as you do, and uh, I came across this video of him playing Cream Live and I was absolutely mesmerised and I could not wait to get up and start giving this song a go. And I've spent every hour since locked in this room. There has been many curse words. There is a few extra grey hairs up here on my head. Hence the bonnet. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I am getting there. Not anywhere near what Prince can do, but I'm going to give this lesson a bash because there's so much to take away from this performance. So many cool, tasty licks. And uh, this does a lot of the things that we talk about on this channel, which is uh, combining chords and scales and doing some cool stuff. So... This really is a masterclass in the acoustic guitar with, with what we see from Prince. So I'm going to do my best to demonstrate this for you. So we're going to have the full song to play, right? I'm going to teach you the verse and the chorus and some of those tasty licks that he plays. So I hope you, you enjoy this one. Now let's get in to the nitty gritty, all right? We've got to use our chords first, all right? Now we're playing in the key of B flat, so we've got a B flat chord using the E shaped bar chord on the sixth fret, and we've got or A shaped bar chord on the 6th fret as well. And that's really the verse, we, we go between those two chords. So if you hadn't to play any of the licks, then we just go like this, right? You just strum it. This is it. Now, you can do this kind of strum. It's also good to add in a little slap there as well. So you can go down, 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 slap. All right. So anyways, you want that strum in there to be the foundation of what you're doing. All right. So you can back to that after you play every lick. Uh, so that's important. All right. So let's get into the first little section. All right. So it's going to sound like this. So the first part of it, this is it. We're getting the bottom two strings on the sixth fret, and then we're getting the A and the D together on the eighth fret. All right, with a little bit of vibrato there, if you can. So. This is it. And then we're going to go into our E flat. Back to our B flat, and then we're going to do this little lick here. All right, so we're using G minor pentatonic here, okay? Shape one with the blue note in there. All right. Now this could also be looked at as the B major. Uh, so B flat major pentatonic, uh, but I'm using G minor because we're using that little blue note in there as well. And it's good to know this, so that if you wanted to bash out some of your own licks, you could just use this scale to create your own little versions of it as well. But the lick that he plays, as I can hear it, goes like this, which is three, four, five. We just hammer into that like that. And then on the uh, the D string, hammer on pull off the three to five, and then five on the A string. You do that twice, and then slide up to eight on the A string there. So nice and slow. All right, and that is the first lick. So moving on to lick number two. Now I'm not going to do every single lick that he does because a lot of them are basically the same, uh, with maybe a few changes here and there. But I'm going to take you through the three main ones in the first verse. Um, the second one, 
uh, that he does goes like this. Starts off the same. So that's kind of cool double stop thing happening here. Now we're actually moving in to the major pentatonic here, right? Which runs off that E shaped bar chord. Now we're hammering on between 8 and 10 on the A and then A on the D string. Now you do that twice. And then we're going to do this double stop where we've got 12. Um, on the, the D string and 10 on the G string. And we're just going to move that back chromatically. All right, one fret at a time. And then finish it off with this, where I've got my middle finger on eight and my first finger on seven. All right. And that is lick number two. Lick number three is, um, I'll be honest, I've not quite got it down 100% yet, but we'll give it a go because it's a really tasty one and uh, a lot of cool things happening. So, anyways, it starts off just as normal. Alright, not quite got it nailed. Uh, but nearly. Uh, basically, what we're doing here is we're taking the D7 triad shape, we're sliding from 8 and 9 up to 9 and 10. I know this sounds completely out of key, but it's it's not. It works. And the reason it works is because it is actually a B flat 7. So not a B7 um, or a B flat. A B flat seven and it works here as well. So he's using that triad, all right, which is an idea that I hadn't really thought of um, as well. It's such a cool little look, right? Sliding up one fret, down up, down up. And then you're sliding this back, and what I do is I bring my first finger down and then pull it off from uh, eight to six, right? Like this. All right. So. Okay, and then hammer on six to eight on the B string, six in the high E, and then we're doing this trill thing from six uh, to seven on the G, which is the minor and major third. So you get that really bluesy sound, and then we get the root on the, uh, the eighth fret, all right? All right, uh, it's a tough one to get and I would advise having a little listen and to how Prince does it. Maybe you can do it a lot better than I can. I'm still working on this one myself, so uh, I appreciate it's not quite there, but we do what we can. Let's finish it off with the chorus, which goes like this. You've got... This kind of thing going on. So, really, the only really way to do this is to have the old thumb over the low E. Now, I, I like playing it this way, but I know it's difficult for a lot of people. But you get your thumb over in the sixth fret. And you can get the bottom two strings with your index finger. And then we're going to go a chicka. All right, muting those strings with your, uh, with your fingers here. And then we got to come down on the, uh, the D of the 6th uh, fret. And then hammer on, 7 to 8. And then pull off. And then 8 on the E string. Alright, so... Now again, even I'm not getting that tone completely clean yet. All right, it just takes a bit of practice uh, to get that dialed in. All right, and then you come up to, um, this is an F. 
Okay, and again, you're just using that E shape bar chord. So again, if you're playing this without uh, the legs, it'd be. Right, but and then finish it off with a G minor, A flat, and then B flat as well, and that's it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that, um, and if you've got any questions, please let me know. Uh, again, this is kind of a spur of a moment lesson for me, something I was practicing, I thought I'd share it with you. Again, it's not the finished article, but hopefully you'll, you'll forgive me for that. Uh, take it easy, and I'll see you soon with another lesson.